So today we're going to be creating one of these video collages. They're actually pretty easy. We can create all of this right on the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. We don't need to go into Fusion or anything like that. So let's just jump right into DaVinci Resolve and show you how all of this is set up. I brought in a couple of shots here as we can see. They're all slightly different. Uh, obviously they're all completely different aspect ratio and we'll go into uh, dealing with that. But we have this shot here that we're going to be using as the background. So that's gonna be the first shot that we're gonna bring in. So I'm just gonna bring this onto my timeline. If you already had a timeline, that's perfectly fine as well. And then from here, we are going to be adding the effect onto this. So whatever the background shot is going to be, you're going to be applying this effect to. Come up to the effects. And then from here, we'll go into the open effects and we can just type in here video. And right there's our video collage. We'll drop that onto our uh, clip. And then from here, we'll close the effects and we can go over to the actual effects tab in our inspector. If that's not open, you can open that up. So currently we have four little boxes. Uh, we can see all the options down here, change the, the amount that we have here, change the rows. If you really need more than the five by five that we have here, you can put in as many as you want and you'll get a lot of boxes. Uh, so you don't have to go off of just what this slides to. You can type in a different value there. Uh, as you can see, staggered, so we can stagger them accordingly, round up the corners or make them complete circles. Uh, you have that as options as well. And so now we need to actually bring the video clips into these little boxes. And so to do that, what we're first going to do is we're gonna take this particular clip. Now, yes, this l seems like visually that this is the background shot, but we're actually going to be putting this clip at the top of our uh, video tracks. And the reason why is because this video currently has a whole cut out of it and we're gonna put the video underneath the show through. The easiest way to show this off is if I come into the, um, into my effects here and I just grab a generator, we can see that that color, if I was to turn this off, that's what it actually looks like. We can see that it's just cutting the holes out of here. So getting the video in all of the boxes, all we really need to do is I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so we can actually see this. And however many are here is how many video tracks you're gonna need. So we're at three, so I need four because I have four of them, right? If you had more, then obviously you would wanna make more. Um, and then we're gonna come over and we can start grabbing our video here and we're just going to be stacking that right in there just like this, right? So I don't know what I did there, but are these different? Yeah, they are. Okay, so there are our four videos, but you can see that we only see one. And so that's going to be this topmost one. The easiest way to position all of these is just using the on-screen control. So coming in here, we have the transform and we also have the crop. We're gonna be using both of these. So we just click to turn it on. Uh, if you need to go to crop, you just go like that and then the crop's on. So that's on and off. Let's come over to here. And I'm just going to shrink this down and bring this up into this corner. So it fills up that whole window. And maybe I want it to be somewhere like that. Obviously this is over here. So all we have to do is go over to crop and crop that right off. Come down to the next one. Let's get, uh, we'll have to go back over to transform. We'll bring this over, maybe get the uh, this gentleman up here just like that, or maybe we make it a little bit bigger so you can actually see more of him. We get, I'm just watching this line and just making sure that it stays above the actual uh, bounds of that. And then we can bring this over. I guess it didn't really matter that we brought the one, but yep, that's pretty much how you do it. It's that simple, right? So once you have them all positioned uh, how you want, you're pretty much then good to go. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So there we are. And now all you have to do is just play that. If my system works, there you go. Now we have our uh, bunch of videos. Now this is all right, but one thing is a little distracting is if we watch this, let's turn this off. If we watch this, we see this background here, right? And it's, it's okay, but it's not really uh, being pushed into the background. So something that we could actually do is come into this uh, top track, which is actually that background or you know this uh, city. And if we come over into our effects and let's open up our effects tab and we can just go in and let's grab a blur. Uh, maybe open effects, yeah, here we are. So I'm just gonna grab a blur and I'm gonna drop that on there. 
Now, you can see that the edges of our cutouts got blurred and the background got blurred as well. And that really comes down to, this is what I refer to as the effect stack. So it's first going to process from the top and then work its way down. So first it's going to process the video collage and then it's obviously processing the blur. So if we just switch these two by coming over here and switching them, we can see that now the background is blurred and then we're cutting out the collage and then we have nice clean edges. So now that is really back there in the background, which really uh, helps sell that, you know, it's pushed into the background a bit more. So that's pretty much how we would uh, go about doing that. Now, if you wanted this to be a bit more custom, one thing that we can do is we can switch this uh, or we can come into here to preview and we can see all of the different po positions. So we have one, two, three, and four. And if we come over into tiles, we have the ability to get one, two, three, and four. So what we could actually do is let's say two, we come into two, so currently we're working on this one, we could come in and do a custom size in here, right? So it's going to start on uh, row one, but we want it to go down to row two. So we could go like that and now it's on row two. So now if we turn off the preview, obviously we, we need to remove that particular shot there. And let's go to our warrior. Is this the warrior one? No, there, that one. We're gonna get this warrior and then we just have to reposition this video. And you know what we could actually do? We could actually flip this. So in here, if we come to transform, we can flip it we can actually bring that warrior in just like that. And let's actually crop this. Let's crop, I believe it's gonna be the right that we're gonna crop off, yeah. Because remember, it's flipped. So now we have you know, a slightly unique uh, style there where it's three instead of you know that uniform four. You could also, if you really wanted to, you could just have one of these, or you could have you know, one large one. It's completely up to you, but now you at least understand how uh, this whole process works. When we come into our video collage, we go preview, we can see how it's laid out. And we have the ability also to come into here and add more if we want to add more tiles or delete tiles. So four really isn't used, it's in the background. So we could go into four and we could actually just delete that. So now we only have three tiles um, there. There's a bunch of other options down here for like drop shadow and stuff like that you can play around with, but I feel like the majority of this is pretty self-explanatory and how it works. My big thing when I was first learning this is understanding how the layouts work and then how how to actually get the video in there. Uh, that was kind of like my big issue with uh, exploring using this. But once you start playing around with it, just like anything else, it becomes pretty easy in how uh, they work. The other thing I guess I could say too, is all of these controls have the ability to be animated if you ever need to add any type of animation to them. So you can keyframe them. So you could, you could animate the size of them um, getting bigger and smaller and so on. So that's always an option as well. The other thing I could say here is that this doesn't have to be a video. You could simply just in one of these boxes, throw a logo if that's something that you needed to show off the logo and have it uh, in one of these windows. You could put a logo or just a bunch of images instead of having actual video clips because it's anything that is going to be in your timeline, you can easily apply that. So yeah, I just wanted to show you quickly how this works and if it is something of interest, just how simple it is to set something up for your project. But yeah, yeah, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, I have a whole website with a ton of different courses. I also have free titles on there that you can grab and install into your DaVinci Resolve. And if you actually want more than just the free ones, I have a ton of assets, transitions, titles, the whole sort uh, on the website as well. But with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one. Have a good one.